December 7, 1941, as the infamous attack on Pearl Harbor. But there were other places that were under attack in Hawaii as well. I took a trip to Wheeler Army Airfield that was hit minutes before Pearl Harbor on that fateful day. At 8 o'clock, I looked up in the sky and I said, that's not good what's coming our way. And they were heading right for the airport. December 7th, 1941 ended America's isolation from the war when Japan staged a surprise attack on military installations in the Pacific. Wheeler Field was one of the first sites to be hit on that fateful day and all the aircraft appeared to be destroyed from above and over 30 people were dead. And I could see all the bombing going on down here at Wheeler Field. And after that, after that, they started shooting at us up there and bullets was flying all through the barracks and everywhere. The Japanese fighter planes attacked the 25th Infantry Division at Wheeler Army Airfield just minutes prior to the attack on Pearl Harbor, and the gunfire grazed veteran Charles Hawker's right leg. I fell on my leg, and I looked down, I had blood running down in front of my leg. I grabbed a bath towel, and as I brought the bath towel across my leg, I fell shivers of pieces of lead, and I started pulling the lead out of my leg. And now you can still see the bullet holes and scars from the attack on the walls and rafters from Hangar 205. Uh, this is what brought the United States into the war. So it's a very important turning point in, in world history that happened right here where we're standing. The U.S. Army Hawaii hosted a remembrance wreath laying ceremony honoring the soldiers that sacrificed their lives during the attack. Uh, 75 years later, I feel fine because I'm still on my feet. I see them get up and move, I see cook, bake, I do whatever I can because that was our job. Yeah, it's such inspiring stories from those Pearl Harbor survivors. And be sure to stay right here with KITV. We'll have your complete Pearl Harbor coverage starting at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning.